How are you on YouTube? Nick Patapia from Next Gen Rehabilitation. And in today's video, I'm gonna be going over uh, the single best piece of advice I wish I had gotten uh, while I was going through my kinesiology degree. Um, so when I get a lot of questions from, from students, um, specifically doing their kin degree, they always ask me, you know, Nick, if you had to do it again or if you had to change something, um, what do you think you would have done? And uh, my answer to that, I mean, I was pretty happy with what I did overall. But um, definitely getting work experience, all right? Work experience, volunteering, internships. If I had gone into that a lot sooner, um, it would have helped the whole process, and I'll explain why. So going through school, I mean, everybody has a crazy schedule. You got your classes. You're trying to balance um, sports if you're doing that. You're trying to balance work sometimes, right, if you're paying for your own degree, um, relationships, friends, family, that sort of thing. So it gets a little bit hectic. It definitely gets a little bit crazy. On top of all that stuff, you're trying to get your studying in, prep for exams, right? Um, but one thing you should uh, definitely realize is no matter how much, you know, schoolwork you're going to be doing, you're never going to get the knowledge that you would get being out in the field, all right? You're never going to get the knowledge um, that learning from a client, you know, in front of you um, will give you versus you trying to learn that in a textbook, right? Anytime you can take those examples from a textbook and apply it in a clinical setting, it's gonna, it's gonna sit with you that much better, it's gonna be easier to recall for you. And evidently, when you go write those tests, you'll be able to think of those situations in a practical situation, right? And you'll be able to um, perform a lot better on the tests. So when it comes to uh, uh, work experience, uh, it can come in a variety of ways, whether it's through volunteering, which is usually the easiest way to start because people are like, well, Nick, you know, I've never done anything in sports science, exercise, worked in the gym, that sort of thing. Who's going to hire me on? Yeah, no problem. Great. Just go ahead. Local gym, local physio clinic, local chiro clinic, RMTs, um, strength and conditioning coach at your university, right? Just let them know uh, the position you're in, um, you know. I'm just a student, I'm looking to gain more experience. Is there anything I can help you with? Or is there any way I can just shadow you, watch what you do um, and gain knowledge and experience in that way? Most of the time, um, you know, other, unless otherwise stated for some reason, um, if it's a liability thing or if it's a confidentiality thing with some of the people they're working with, um, you should be able to get in and, and uh, experience or, or shadow or, or even work with um, some of these individuals, right? So starting out, obviously, yeah, it might be a little bit um, boring in certain places. I mean, they might get you to just start cleaning the clinic and, and things like that. So you're doing something. Um, high, ice packs, heat packs, if you're working in a physio clinic, um, putting away uh, weights, um, that sort of thing if you're working in a gym. But the things that you should be trying to pick up are the are the times and the moments you actually get to spend with the practitioner because those are, are going to be the golden nuggets that are going to stick with you. Um, the knowledge that they are going to pass down to you is going to definitely help accelerate your growth process, right? Because if you try to do the degree on your own, yeah, it's great. Um, but working with someone like a mentor definitely expedites that whole process. Maybe if it took you this long, um, it'll cut the time down that, that much more um, in terms of learning things, in terms of uh, being able to understand clinical practice, right? They may be able to give you advice on uh, mistakes they made along the road so you don't make the same ones. Um, and a lot of the times uh, with some of these people you're working with, you're able to get a mentor for life, right? If there's, if once you finish school and you have questions, you can go back to them and ask them. If you ever go off to grad school, you know, you can ask them about those things as well. So it's a, it's a great resource to have. It's a great way to network and it's a great way to build up your foundation, especially at the early stages. Um, and it's also a great way to see if this is actually what you want to be doing. So, I mean, you, you're in this uh, degree for, you know, four plus years and you know, what worse feeling than to finish the degree and just start working, um, if you can get work, right? Because most of the times, most places won't hire you if you don't have any experience and realize that, you know, kin's not for me or sports science not for me or working with, you know, this clientele isn't for me, right? So instead of waiting that long, you can kind of hit that at the beginning, be like, oh, you know what? Um, yeah, I actually do like it and I want to pursue this. Or if you worked with a physio and you didn't like it, okay, maybe I'm going to try working with a chiro. Or if I didn't like that, maybe an RMT or an exercise physiologist or uh, shadowing a doctor, a strength and conditioning coach, right? All these people will give you, um, you know, insight into their world and they'll be able to um, you know, kind of um, uh, help you out in whatever way they can, whether it be, um, you know, academically, whether it's uh, advice about the career, uh, whether it's uh, advice about what the next stages in, in your career path should be in terms of education, applying for grad school, interview processes, that sort of thing. So 
having that sort of person um, mentor in your life to help you out um, is definitely a bonus and I always highly recommend it so um, and especially when you do get out of school um, like I was reiterating to earlier uh, most clinics aren't gonna hire you unless you have some sort of experience so the more experience you can have under your belt um, the more opportunities you open up for yourself the more networking you do the more you get out there and expose yourself and expose your name, um, the more knowledge you're going to gain back, the more connections you're going to have. And evidently, it's going to open up a lot more doors for you when you actually do finish up school, right? That's another big thing as well. Um, the more networks you can build up, uh, you know, on your way up during school, uh, the better it's going to be for you. Who knows, you know, how this individual may be able to help you out down the road, whether it's, you know, inner referrals between yourself, if you became a physio and a friend you had in, in university that became an RMT, right? You can start working together by sending clients off to each other. Um, maybe um, business networking, right? If you're someone that, you know, became a physio, a recent grad, and you needed some marketing, but you don't know how, if you had a friend from school, or if you had a mentor that knew how to market uh, based on one of the clinics you worked at, um, you can ask them for some advice, right? So anytime you can expose yourself to these situations, um, especially getting the work experience, uh, I believe it's going to help you a lot in the, in the future. All right. So that's Nick Pratap from Next Gen Rehabilitation, and we'll see you in the next video.